folks, Quilly Dean here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play RimWorld Beta 1.0 Unstable. And it's been a couple of days since I've played, and uh, there has been some patches put in in between there. I actually got a slew of errors loading this game, so hopefully you're going to be okay. The other thing I <laughs> want to come in, every single wall in here is damaged to the same extent. I'm wondering if the wall hit points were changed from like 140 to 225 or something like that for these wooden walls. Because every single... Every single object in here is damaged to 62% HP. That's... Except the sandbags. So clearly something happened with something in here. I guess where people are going to be a little bit busy uh, uh, repairing this stuff for a little while. Dang. Huh. Collins needs treatments. What's the deal with practice? I don't remember. Oh no, you just, you just have a scratch and a bruise. You're fine, buddy. You're fine. Sleeping outdoors, unfortunately. I guess you're going to be treated with actual medicine. You know... Is there a way... It'd be nice to, like, flag an injury. Is like, seriously, like, let's not worry about that. Um, I guess I could temporarily turn off the doctoring. I mean, it certainly sounds a little risky, but... I'm going to do something like that. Still have the boomalopes over here. And again, if we get some rain, we might go ahead and do some hunting. And we need a research project, because we don't have one. Really? Did I not start the bridge tech? Where's the bridge tech? Was it not? Hold on. Something's changed. Um. Uh, okay. Can I, like, build the bridges right now? Maybe we finished it? I'm thinking they, that that Tynan changed it so you don't need tech for a bridge. All right. Flat wooden surface on supportive beams, which you can build over water. You can build non-heavy structures on bridges, but be careful. Bridges are fragile. Okay. So, let's say, do I want to just make, like, a fin bridge? I was going to make, like, you know, something wide, but... <clears throat> I'm kind of wondering about just doing something like that. Maybe a slew of these little thin bridges? Different sort of style? Alright. We'll do something like that. So yeah, everything's got to be freaking repaired. I think I can... Yes, I can turn doctoring back on. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Good. And so in terms of research... Tree sewing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in the cocoa. That's fine. Um, I suppose the thing to do is probably to get some of our... I guess we got electricity research. Go to microelectronics. Unlocks a lot of trade things and whatnot and <clears throat> stuff that we want that way. So yes, we have our electricity. And so when these bridges get done, hopefully we can actually go and run power through there. Don't know yet, but we're crossing our fingers. So yeah, everyone's busy doing all the repairs. Uh, Zambezi... Ooh, Muffalo self-tamed. Mm, okay, sure. You know what? I'm fine with that. And I'm going to make a proper farm. Or, or a little ranch area. For them. So, we, there's no fencing, huh? I mean, the animals will stay in any area designated an animal area. As if there were fencing. I mean, I could build a bunch of walls to protect them from attacks. And we could pretend that it's fence. Wrap it in, 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 in sandbags. No, I think something like that. We'll have to pretend it's fencing. But, like, let's, let's set up a bit of a barn. Yeah. We need a larger area. <clears throat> I guess one of the questions is, how much of this area is growable? So let's say... Okay. I do that. I don't like that that area there is kind of a dead zone. If we do something like this and <clears throat> do all hay grass there. Let me shrink that there just for the... No, 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 no. Shrink. Undo that. And... Uh, 
build a little barn here. The door that leads that way. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god. <clears throat> my throat just went, like, started to die. Do something like that. Uh, there is an... Uh, I guess there's not an animal area by default. I thought they created... <gasps> Have you unified... <clears throat> animal areas and regular areas, finally. Um, barn. I think that he might have, because there's no good reason to differentiate between the two. I mean, I guess in a sense, it could simplify some of the assignment pop-ups, but there's really no reason to do that. Well, that's very nice. Okay, good, 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 good. And then what we'll do is we'll also put a stockpile zone in here, like that. Uh, clear all important for... Hey. <clears throat> I suppose we could put a little kibble in there, too. Tell you what, I will... Wow, that is really hard to see. I will shrink that zone a tiny bit, and then build a new stockpile zone. <clears throat> so that one was set to important. I'll do the same thing here. Important clear all kibble for various animals, and we'll put some animal sleep spots in there. Is that furniture? It is. We'll just use regular sleep spots. I mean, we might end up some boxes too, but we don't have we don't really have any wood right now, so we'll just leave it be. So we got a muffalo over there. We would like you to be trained for obedience because we might use you for some hauling later on. So tons and tons of repair jobs still. That's still a huge time sink. But I mean, I guess that's fine. These rocks here are kind of inconvenient. We'll put a haul job on there. What is more silver, right? And that's silver. Like we are, we're rich on silver, but that's about it. Cargo pods. Hello. More. Yeah, we're rich on silver. Okay. Sure. Well, we might do a lot more trade than we normally do. We got our fields over here. Some little fields over there. I mean, maybe the rice paddy should be right across or against the river. But this is gonna be nice. It's gonna be a beautiful little area overall. Um, what I might do is deconstruct this here and rebuild the sandbags. Can I build across this? Yes, I can. Okay. Yeah, rebuild them out over here. Okay. Wow, that deconstruction happened instantly. How many people are on construct duty? <clears throat> Three because we or four because we actually have that much passion for it, which is pretty amazing. I mean, right now all the repair was a huge time sink. On the other hand, I guess maybe it was a good skill training too. We're going to go ahead and deconstruct that, so you can consider this to be a solo bedroom as opposed to maybe a barracks or something. Although you're going to get lots of disturbed sleep and everything, and it's not great. But here we're working on getting you across the way here. This guy's even sleeping outside, so it's not great. It's a good thing we have so many people in construction who isn't needed. Now, this might be an excess of hay grass over here. <clears throat> Probably it is. We kind of just, like, I really want to just sow it. Like, I just wanted a grazing area, really. Which is going to include this. Okay, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to... Whoops. Shrink zone. Bring it into this. There's some grass for them to graze, and this is soil, so in theory the grass might spread. We'll keep the hay growing over here. And and we may want walls too. I'll just put a little planning. Where's the planning tool? Yeah, some distance over here. <clears throat> You know, I should have probably done that instead. What do you do? Right click? How do you remove a plan? Is it just cancel? Oh! Remove plan over here. <clears throat> there it is. Okay. Probably something like that. We got a flash storm, so we might get some fires happening. It's okay. A little attempt to train over here is fine and groovy. I wonder if that's going to be a big enough area for them to graze. I don't know. Worst comes to worst, he might graze on some of the hay grass that's growing, and it's sort of okay. <clears throat> Maybe it's not. Maybe I want to leave some hay grass in here and some outside of the animal zone. 
to guarantee that not all of it gets eaten. That's an idea. I don't know what the best layout is for this. We'll sort of monitor this muffalo over here and see how we feel in the end. Uh, the dog, we... Oh, shoot. Uh, I did not mean to do that. I will unrestrict the dog. I just did, like, all animals at the same time. But no, no, I don't want the dog to be um, restricted to any zone. He can do all kinds of hauling and stuff like that. More obedience. It's going to finish quickly. Our animal handling skill is actually pretty impressive. Man. What is this? More silver. Of course it is. Fire's over here. Now, this could continue to spread. Maybe by the time um, it spreads to us. There's no right click. Oh, no, no. Maybe by the time it spreads to us, there'll be some rain. I don't like this new mining pick icon. It looks too cartoony. Like, a mining pick's not going to be curved quite like that. It looks a little derpy. I don't know. I don't like change, you guys. Apparently. All right, so we're still maybe going to cut some things on the other side eventually. And BZ, he's not unhappily nude. Is he wearing pants? Okay, he's got pants on. Good. <clears throat> now, we just have the one person who is a night owl. That's Bonjamate, right? Yes. And you are on the night owl schedule, which is good. We can go ahead and do a little bit of that, too. Right throughout the night, you're wearing all the body armor. You're doing some researching. I mean, maybe you're not the right person to have the body armor, but that's going to be okay. And what are we researching? Oh, yeah, microelectronics. Yeah, yeah. That's definitely worthwhile doing. <clears throat> When we get the microelectronics, we'll probably build a proper stockpile based around a um, a little comms beacon thing. <clears throat> and this might just become another warehouse, or more likely is it'll probably get, we'll probably build a wall here and just end up with two large bedrooms. I think that's probably what we can expect from that. All right, food, okay so far. We could go and force some more hunting, but I think we'll leave it as is because people are still pretty busy doing all the repair from whatever happened with the, the patch version here. Th that is kind of funny that we can do that. Hey, you can't squeeze through here. Um, I might change some of the stuff about this room later on because it does look kind of derpy with the doors where they are, but at the same time, it doesn't really hurt anything. Right? It would look better if this wasn't a door. And then all of a sudden, it's like, well, who cares? Same thing here. We might put a, a little desk here. And then doors don't hurt anything. And deconstructing and rebuilding, you just end up using some more material, so that's okay. But yeah, I mean, bright side, this is a great way to get some early construction skill so that we can make fancy schmancy stuff, I guess. <clears throat> now, you! 52% chat and recruit. And clearly, like, wardening is a high priority thing. I'm surprised you haven't been recruited yet. I don't know. Hard to convince, I guess. Now, in a sense, it would be better to do the actual construction rather than repair, although I think we have to wait for some uh, tree cutting to happen for that to finish. And in any case, the repairs have to happen, so we don't have the mod where we get to, like, tweak with the the subtasks and force, say, actual construction above repair, but <clears throat> I don't know. It's fine. I, at some point, yeah, built these contains nothing. I guess because it's a hauling job and people aren't getting around to it. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Fine, fine. And you're not starving to death or anything, right? No, you're okay. New recruit! There we go! Welcome to the party, Aeon. Ugly, chemical interest, neurotic. Oh, you're gonna be a lot of fun. And you are gonna be named Minifest! Welcome to the colony, Minifest. Now, in terms of restrictions, you can go there. And in terms of work, our fight, bed rest, so then the flicking. And then after that, you can cook, which is good. We could consider turning off Bonjamate's cooking, so that Bonjamate just focuses basically entirely on research. And that wouldn't be bad. Oh, can leave the plant cut on. You got a lot of passion for a lot of different things. Now again, there's something he said about a dedicated hauler. Well, practice really when practice isn't constructing, practice is going to be focusing on on hauling. And with double passion for construction, I don't really want to put your hauling above construction. 
you know, sleeping outside. There's still something to be said, though, about the thing where you get everyone in your base to be on, like, you know, super high priority hauling. Just get it done right away. Because having things not hauled is bad. Because things deteriorate, things are out of position, so everything else becomes less efficient. And I've said it before, you could have one person full-time hauling, or all your people hauling a tiny bit of the time just to get it done. Yeah, need warm clothes, need colonist beds. So I'm gonna set up just more sleep spots for now. But yeah. No, I think, I mean, I could right click and force construct. I'm wondering if we actually, if I turned the plant cutting on and we had wood, they might construct above repair. Some people actually have passion for plant cutting. Let me do that for now and see what that does. We didn't have wood in our stockpile, right? No. So people might construct above repair. I'm not sure. It looks like the answer is yes. Okay. Yeah, that, that's better. So now that we've got some wood, that's okay. And yeah, I'll leave the plant cutting a little higher up for the people with passion. I think that's fine. Dirty cooking area. Uh, some people suggested that um, getting the butcher's table out of here would be a good idea because the butcher's table tends to create a lot of um, a lot of mess, and that can lead to food poisoning. So I'll move the butcher table in here. So we're going to do that. I think I used to do this. And then I like, no, no, one central cooking room, which thematically fits, but yeah. <clears throat> uh, failing when constructing the bridge. Wasting a little bit of material, but that's okay. I mean, really, I probably should have just built one of these at a time, but I don't know, I kind of like the idea of the triple bridge. And we can always fill this in later, especially if we want to put some actual stuff on here. I mean, just start bridging up the entire thing. And then, you know, expand. But I want the look of the river. Again, if I can build a little railing or fencing or something, I would totally do that. There's probably mods for that, but I am going to run version 1.0 unstable here, modless, because it's going to be moving target for mods, and I, I don't expect the mods, at least on Steam, to be updated until 1.0 becomes, like, official. I could probably manually install some from, um, from the forums or something like that, but... Okay, so in terms of power, tell me that we can route power through the bridge. Yes, we can. Excellent. Mm-hmm. We're not in a rush to get power over there. It's fine. So that's been closed in, which is good. We'll want to floor this stuff up at some point, too, which is nice. All our little cabins here. So nice and lovely. We're up to six people. Seven cabins there, and yeah, I'll probably make two bedrooms there. <laughs> I guess we don't have to worry about moving the butcher's table right now because we don't actually... We're not hunting right at this moment anyway. We've got plenty of meals. And we still have some raw food. Okay, it's sleepy time. Except for Bonjmate, who's up at night doing research and cooking some meals. How's your cooking skill? Five. Yeah, it's not great. Although you were in range of making some fine meals. Although we've got some already. Do I? How much do you actually need for fine meals? No, you need a six. I guess Minifest started cooking right away with a skill of eight. Yeah, okay. Fine, fine, fine. I guess that's one of the things with the cooking, is I could say, do something like the fine meals. I could force um, just Minifest to do it. And so Bonjmate will only cook if we are below the threshold of simple meals. That way, if there's some sort of food emergency, Bonjmate will contribute. I kind of like that. I mean, I could just put a skill requirement as well. Yeah, I'm a little concerned that I'm going to forget that this is on, and then meals won't get cooked. So just because once Bonjmate gets a skill level 6, uh, she? She will contribute to cooking fine meals, and I don't know if we'll want that. I can always turn off her cooking skill. That's probably the safest way to do it, so I avoid screwing up too much. Is at some point I could just screw it up, uh, turn that off if I decide that um, I want to make sure that the... Uh, the production is okay. Now, do you actually match not exactly the wooden floor? It ain't bad. And we're gonna we're gonna wooden floor up over here at some point for these bridges and connect everything up. But for now, we're good. All right, more bedrooms being constructed. 
yeah, more wood being chopped is fine. The Mega Sloth we can basically ignore. Now, if I recall correctly, there was a Grizzly Bear running around here at some point, and there's a concern that once winter comes, we may have to go and hunt down the Grizzly Bear to prevent it from getting hungry and going after people. And that's likely still going to be the case. Thump, 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 thump. Okay. So, next thing we want is we do want to start on some uh, bed production over here. Wooden beds. Boom, boom. Boom. I guess no one uses this or that, so that'll be another good place to start wooden beds. And then as they get built, I will get rid of sleep spots and just migrate people over to actual beds. Well, that's going pretty fast. So these two over here. Boom and boom. We'll probably floor everything in between these as well. Because it'll look nice. It'll move fast. In particular, like right over here where there's the trees. We definitely don't want those trees to be there because it'll just slow people down. Um, power. Let's finish routing the power to here. Breakdown of electric stove. Okay, I guess that's fine. I'm gonna run you here, 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 here. Because we possibly want to put lamps in here. And yeah, I'll probably end up doing a little bit of a circle here for dual redundant power connections. Sort of wrapping this up. We might use a second bridge for some of this as well. And at some point, we'll want some turrets down here, too. Uh, I think what would be a good idea is to deconstruct this and to build another sort of diagonal sandbag line over here. To deal with attacks from this direction. Okay. Done, done, done. Now, we've got... A raid. Okay. Okay. I was going to say a tailoring bench, and we do have a tailoring bench, and it has been set up. Now, raid pirates, they're attacking immediately. Three or four people with guns, although a couple of, or three of them are with revolvers, and is this a shotgun? It is a shotgun, so range isn't going to be huge. Um, probably they're going to come around the northern part of things over here. Eh, they're splitting, which is, I guess, good for me. I think I'll focus on the larger group. So recruit get everyone down here now some people just have um melee weapons melee or er, mini fest has no gun whatsoever or no weapon whatsoever come over here and grab that revolver please oh they some of them they changed their mind ah this is a little unfortunate oh uh animal i guess the bond has to go but i'm worried about when you're getting attacked Hopefully the dog's going to be okay. I like how the one guy who doesn't have a gun gets shot. Lem got no cover here. Okay. Done. You've picked up that. Excellent. Now, whoever's got the survival rifle, or the bolt action rifle, can wait over here. Because you've got pretty good range. Uh, can we get everyone to attack right there? They're burning our crops, although not our real crops. Here, you go, Zambezi. You're gonna come over here, melee that guy. And then you two are gonna come over here. Um, and don't shoot the dog, don't shoot the dog. Thank you. Okay, they are fleeing. I guess they don't move when you tell them the attack. That's right, the meleeers do, but that's it. Duck around the corner so you don't get shot by your buddies. We're going to everyone to try to run here and take another shot. I'm just going to unrecruit you so you can put out a little bit of fire. And deaded. Okay. Uh, recruit, unrecruit everyone. Go put out some fire. And the other thing I will do is unforbid all items all over. So dropped weapons, corpses, etc. So our hay, actually, the hay is not even burning away that quickly, which is kind of surprising. 
Hey, rain! Excellent time for the rain. Thank you. Okay. That's going to be all right in terms of... Uh, doctors, Ushi, and practice are both unhurt. So this should work out pretty well. The people who are hurt, of course, number one priority, bed rest. And the people with medical skill, number one priority, medicalizing. Um, since we do have more guns, now you have no shooting skill, but you can actually shoot. I'm going to get you to equip this revolver right away. And apparently you're going to go and have fun rather than go back to bed. But you have been treated, right? Yeah. So just a few gunshots here and there. No serious injuries. You're still bleeding. Bunge mate. Oh, but you're being treated. Yeah. No serious injuries. Everything's okay. We are running low on medicine. That's true. We did plant some heal root, though, now. That's good. And yeah, we'll, be get, we'll be building some greenhouses a little bit later. Because um, we can do it on the soil. We don't need hydroponics. Which was something we couldn't really do. Well, I was going to say, couldn't really do in the desert world. We didn't really have to worry about winter in the desert world. I mean, we did have a winter period. But yeah, chunks of spacecraft. All right. Yeah, we'll put a deconstruct job on there. That's fine. So all these are done. We're going to go ahead and... Oh, these are wooden bed blueprints. Okay. I thought that was still sleep spots, but no. We have no sleep spots there or anything like that, which is good too. Actually, I could probably just move these beds over. Let me do that. Cancel. Cancel. Normal bed, reinstall at, boom. And this one here too, normal bed, reinstall at, excellent. And then these two can stick around for when we group this up here. All right. And this weird little prisoner room, which I'll keep around for now. That's going to be fine. Cooking some more meals, that's good. Lem is fully healed, excellent. The butcher's table did get moved. You still have your bills, which is nice. Um, what I might do is change the... Uh, the kibble count a little higher, too. I think you do get a bunch of kibble per job. Let's see here. Mm, don't you? I thought there was something it would show up. Anyway. We'll do something. That's going to be okay. I guess we can see here. Yeah, I think we actually get, like, 50 per job. So setting that to that bill doesn't really make much of a difference, but that's okay. All right. Yeah, because I think we had 9, and I think it just made 50. What I could do is, like, set it to, like, 60. And that will sort of make it maintain about 100. But not do it all the time. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and do that. Um, for the kibblage, though, I actually forgot something. Um, requires 1 and 1, two different things. No, I guess that's fine. It's keeping our muffalo fed for now. I don't know. But I think we do have to turn on some hunting again soon. So if we take a look at wildlife, we are going to hunt down probably more of the mufflos. And probably hunt down like all the mufflos. It's going to be fine. Yeah. We have timber wolves that we have to worry about for later on too. Uh, I guess we could hunt down the turkey. That's going to be cool too. All right. Mm -hmm. Cleaning dirt. Yeah, the home area is growing, and we still don't have a dedicated um, cleaning area mode, as far as I know here. Alright, areas. We've got the snow clear, but I think that's it. I think they will clean all over the home zone. But hey, if we put down some more wooden floors, it's going to help too. I'm going to let these, these uh, repairs finish, because it was looking dumb to have all these walls that were kind of wonky. Alright, so that's been moved, which is good. What I can probably do, because I'm going to be moving this stuff at some point anyways, I will go ahead and issue a deconstruction in order for this, because it's going to happen at some point. And in the meantime, we can expand our little storage area, which I will do thusly. Although that's still going to get changed into a bedroom later on, but that's going to be okay. All right, well, I guess this is going to be a fine place for us to put in a cut, so we will do that. Thank you very much for watching another episode of RimWorld uh, 1.0 Unstable. Looking very sexy, very cool. Obviously, a lot of things are going to change and break and stuff like that with this Unstable stuff, but there's so much good stuff in this 1.0 version. Super excited. Thanks for watching. See you next time.